Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to give you a little update on myself. Uh, it's uh, day six of, is it day six? Day eight, day eight of uh, uh, being in the hospital here in the ICU. I still can't keep my oxygen level low enough, especially when I go to sleep. So uh, there's that, and then my heart rate. Uh, still fluctuating and rubbing around and everything. This is uh, to measure how much oxygen you have in your system and everything, and everything else is to, you know, run IVs and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, day eight, uh, still can't get my, uh, my blood sugars, or my blood sugars are good. They can't get my heart rate uh, to just keep uh, pumping normal. It, like, uh, flutters or something like that, they call it. So I'll get a uh, bump bump. Bump, 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 and all of a sudden, real sharp, hard, sharp, uh, it hurts your chest, pain, and you basically have to take a breath and, uh, start your, restart your heart, uh, and so, we've got a couple different medicines that they're gonna keep working with to get my heart rate normal, and if they can get my heart rate normal, and I can get three days of heart rate normal, and I can hold oxygen, then they'll release me from the ECU, otherwise, I'm stuck here for now, you know? But uh, I got a bottle of water and a wheelchair and I got the walker and I can get to the bathroom with the assistance only and uh, oh you can't even see it, you can see the rest of the room basically so there's my bed and then that's going out in the hall but I thought we was going to get a, without the reflection just a minute ago you can see the building across the street there, the other hospital building here in the complex and everything. So yeah. I don't watch a lot of TV and I'm here watching a lot of TV and sitting around. <laughs> so I was sitting around and waiting for this test, waiting for that test and getting blood tests on all day long and uh, they're right on it because they'll keep changing the medicine. So uh, whatever the blood results come to, you know, back as, then they'll uh, change it. And uh, I'm obviously going to have a lot more medications than I used to have um, when I ever do get released, but uh, you know, uh, my wife love her so much. She went and got a new crawl mix. And I got a new four-wheeler. Let me get that. Uh, sorry. Alright, right, right, switch fingers and switch hands. This is rough. It's a rough surface. Uh, oh, wait. If I get on the angle, maybe you can see it. There we go. I don't know. Is that cool or what? The new four-wheeler? I don't know if I've seen them do that before, but yeah, she got a new four wheeler and a new crawl magazine. So I'm gonna sit here and uh, check these all these things out and uh, get ready for breakfast. And anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know uh, I'm still here, stuck in the ICU. But uh, yeah, day eight, and uh, I'll keep you updated. And uh, yeah, we're gonna few to start putting some videos out like we were. Uh, all kinds of stuff from uh, a year ago. Uh, I got the ones from Axial Fest I'm gonna put up, uh, little shorts uh, from the guys, but they're just a little blurry because of the Samsung to iPhone switchover and everything. So any of the guys that have the Samsung, the videos seem to come out odd or something like that. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, anyways, uh, at least you guys get to see some of the little things from it. You know, it's not gonna be crystal clear like this. But yeah, oh, I just love back in the day being in the real crawlers was the thing to do for me, man. That was so much fun going out on the Rubicon Trail with the guys. And once my back got pretty bad, we had to get rid of the ATVs and the wheelers and uh, to keep my love alive. And we started doing the, more of the RCs, you know? And then the realistic ones, the more and more realistic they get. It looked like all the buggies and everything is just freaking killer, right? So, uh, enjoy, guys. Have a good day, and uh, I'll keep you in touch. Thanks for checking everything out. Talk to you later.